today is our last day in Bingen Beach. It's kind of the last place that we're staying as well that has good surf or decent surf. So it's about four o'clock in the afternoon and I decided to paddle out, see if I can catch a couple waves. Last night in Bingen Beach, so I'll take you around and show you what it looks like here a little bit and give you a tour. We do the fish barbecue down on the beach. Our place that we are staying at is actually right there. There's a lot of surf shops here that you can rent surfboards. There's also people that will give you lessons if you don't know how to surf. Really cheap. We paid probably 50 Indonesian rupios to rent a surfboard for an hour, which makes it about, sorry buddy, which makes it about four or five dollars an hour to rent a surfboard, so it's actually pretty cheap. I rented one for a couple hours today. There's still people out here surfing. So there's a lot of restaurants around here too. I think they're called Warungs. And so you can uh, walk in any one of them and have pretty good food. It's gotten really busy now that it's the weekend. Our place is called Bale, B-A-L-E, at Bingen. So, you enter from the beach right here. You walk up steps, just a few steps up from the beach. So every place as well, you set these out and a place to wash your feet. You're supposed to dip your feet in it. You don't want to track sand into the place every time. So this is our balcony right here. This is the balcony. It's a pretty sweet view to eat breakfast and uh, this is actually where I've been editing the videos every night. I will come down and I'll sit right here and edit the videos. This is their kitchen and bar. You have that, this refrigerator. Always incense burning. You can tell, always somebody there to help you if you need. So this is how you get up to the room actually. These are the steps that go up. So, four rooms on this side, down this hallway. Room number four, right here. Shh, she's asleep. It's small, but it has a good view. There's not much in here but our room does not have AC. It hasn't been that bad. There is two fans that help it out a lot, but the next places that we're gonna stay, we're definitely looking for a place with AC. Again, I just got out of the shower and I'm sweating so much. Really nice balcony, and again, really nice view here. Shower, toilet, sink, me. It's so hot in the room that sometimes I pull open the door and I wave it open to try to get more air to flow through the room like this. 